Phil. Or another roller coaster day here at the race course, a 3 2 win over Notts County. Your assessment of the day? Well, it was a great advert for, for the division. Um, it was a fantastic game of football. Um, I'm immensely proud of the way the lads have performed today because on the big occasion they've stepped up to the plate. Um, we had a wake up call on Friday, Halifax, and it was a wake up call for us, but we responded really well, well today. Um, I said to the lads straight after the game that, you know, enjoy the win, but it's feet firmly on the ground because we haven't achieved anything yet. We know that, uh, but of course, it's a step in the right direction. And um, there's some big performances there today. Um, and, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm so pleased that, that the way the lads have played, even at half time, I felt if we kept doing what we we're doing, we'd, we'd get chances. You know, the linesman was a bit eager with his flag for me on that far side. I haven't seen those instances back time of the runs maybe could have been better but we knew the areas we could we could hurt knots and uh, we implemented it really well as we did at their place but we just didn't take our chances we've been involved in some big games already this season after defeat on friday against halifax was this almost the perfect game to come into um yeah what a, what a way to, to respond and um it was a big day wasn't it it was billed as the the, the biggest non-league game of all time an immense spotlight on, on us as a football club, but we've handled that really well, and uh, you know I'm very pleased with that, and that bodes well for the future because you need players who step up. You know Ben Foster, you know, producing a, a moment of a top-class goalkeeping to, to win us the game, um, for instance. But many other key moments in the game uh, when it really mattered, the lads have stepped up, and uh, we need to do it uh, a few more times before the end of the season. You mentioned Ben Foster there, that penalty in added on time. Play seemed to continue with Mullen at the other end of the pitch. No one had really seen what the penalty was given for, but what a moment for Ben. Yeah, well, I thought it was a harsh decision and I've only seen it from a distance on the on the BT T screen when I was doing the interview. Um, I thought it was a very big call from the ref and uh, you know I wasn't very pleased with the decision, as you can uh, imagine. I might have got it wrong when I see it again, uh, but listen... Goalkeepers like strikers producing key moments and Ben's done that and you know, I'm so pleased with him, not just today but the way he's been around the building with the lads because when you sign a player of, of Ben's profile it's important that he comes in and, and sets the standards for us and he trains so well every time he's in, he, he's such a humble person, um, yeah so he's been great to work with. But listen, credit to Knotts as well because you know it's two really attack minded teams who, who really go for every single game and and you know credit to Knotts you know they've been part of a terrific game they'll be disappointed um, but we've just got to make sure that we're ready for the weekend. Now Knotts did take the lead just before the break what was your message at half time to get the perfect response from Paul Mullen getting that goal back? Um, well more or less what I've said that I felt we were close to getting in and I felt the the workout possession was in the main very good and we needed to not go away from the game plan stick to what we spoke about and what we worked on in, on the training ground briefly yesterday and the lads did that and that's so important that when you're losing a game not to get carried away with the emotion of the occasion and start doing something different to what we haven't worked out football's about looking at the opposition you know what they're good at how we're going to nullify that but where are they weak and i felt we we really exploited that in the second half now as, as well as paul's goal he got two assists a great goal from jacob mendy and elliot lee did we did best yeah jacob was immense today immense you know he's had a good chat with Jacob yesterday um, he hasn't quite been himself recently but a, a great chat with him and um, he was playing against a very good player I've seen uh, Niman really cause people problems and these are the games we signed Jacob Mendy for because his power and pace you know he's a very difficult place player to get past and, and to top it off with a goal wow what, what a great day for Jacob and I'm very pleased for him and just finally, there's been some unbelievable atmospheres at the race course over the past two years, but this one must be right up there with one of the best. Yeah, listen, the supporters deserve a lot of credit today because you know, four and a half thousand came to Halifax and uh, they, were, they were hurting like me on the way back. And, and I don't like it when we, we don't give our supporters value for money. That hurts me more than anything. Um, so today, you know, the supporters have turned up really right behind the team. They've made it an incredible atmosphere and uh, the lads have responded in terrific fashion. Thanks for congratulations. Thank you.